At Starbucks, our mission is to inspire and nurture the human spirit, one person, one cup, one neighborhood at a time. You may be familiar with some of our 30,000 stores worldwide that may be a part of your experience. We have over 30,000 employees who we call as partners who ensure our standing as one of the world's most admired companies. In order to adhere to that quality of service and product, the key focus areas that we focused on are making sure we have elevated partner and customer connections, breakthrough in beverage innovation, and also accelerating our customer engagement across channels, including digital. However, this story is driven by our ability to harness data to power these customer experiences. Amazing teams across Starbucks continue working on the next breakthrough innovation to ensure we build the right customer experience and an enduring brand appeal. These extend across our multiple domains, partners, products, store portfolios, and digital. There are tons of awesome teams working on big ideas and enabling them to be brewed at scale. As much as it's about the product, it's about elevating customer connections and the experience that is driven by the convergence of data. For example, on mobile, we use rapid A-B testing to improve recommendations using reinforcement learning models on the Brewkit platform. On drive through we cross-sell modifications using engines like Debrew. On store applications, we serve near real-time transactional data with billions of data points to internal reporting applications so that actual store personnel can monitor transactions near real-time. More importantly, data is extremely crucial as we extend channels for delivery and new norms in today's new era. The ability to serve these use cases is only possible through a sound data strategy. Our data strategy and guiding principles are built on three pillars single version of the truth, providing trusted store, store of information across customer product and stores, data analytics enablement, as well as trusted data to ensure data quality, privacy, security, and the right data definitions to access this data. However, to execute on the strategy, we had to deal with several modernization challenges. On the architecture side, we were dealing with petabyte scale of data and fragmentation across systems. On the ingestion and processing, the ability to process near real-time data products and a huge variety of sources. The inability to implement updates, merges on fast changing data in an optimal fashion. Also non-optimal engineering experiences with services that did not perform at scale, for example, taking a long time to provision or scale. Also on the consumption side, there was no real single source of truth, a lack of a unified user experience, and an impedance mismatch between data and model development and operations blocking, experimentations, and reproducibility. To illustrate how we dealt with all these challenges, Brewkit was our zero friction analytics framework. This is built on a strong foundation of Azure, Databricks, and Delta. Brewkit was be, would be a unified analytics platform to reduce our impedance mismatch between access to data, ability to perform data science and operationalization. We wanted to make sure the smallest of teams at Starbucks have the ability to do at scale data science and data engineering with this framework. Brewkit, our massive scale data framework, has all the necessary capabilities in a box to perform at scale data science and data engineering. We leverage multiple Azure services and homegrown Starbucks engineering to light up a functioning environment. Multiple SKUs translate into data engineering and data science templates. All this generated declaratively in a matter of minutes. We have services like MLflow and Azure ML that help power our model management life cycles. All this backed on storage services as such as Delta Lake. We use Azure services such as Azure Key Vault to help us secure key management across different environments. From an infrastructure essential standpoint, we have Databricks as the core engine for on-demand compute and the notebook col collaborative experience helps teams collaborate and experiment at a rapid fashion. The AI serving layer is powered by services such as Cosmos DB that help us enable internet scale, low latency serving. We also provide automation and starter notebooks and templates across a variety of use cases so that users can bootstrap quickly onto the environment. All activities are audited for governance reason as well as return on investment. Moving on to our second challenge, data and ingestion. 
And huge focus areas for teams has been to ingest data at scale using custom Spark utilities with massive parallelism. With the inherent benefits of Delta, such as asset transactions, metadata handling, and schema enforcement, we can use services now like Azure Event Hubs and Spark Structured Streaming that help us process millions of transactions at scale per second. For long-running pipelines, fault tolerance is trivial now with structured streaming. More importantly, Delta has now helped us build out our historical data and live aggregations together to make sure we are now giving our store partners real-time insights on data based on history and on current time. Consider pipelines that hold transaction data that are cleansed, audited, and processed to be sent right back to the stores within minutes to ensure that our partners have this latest data to make decisions with. The ability to perform stateful and stateless aggregations helps us tailor trade-offs based on use cases. Features like compaction, auto optimization, help us now have the right partition keys in our partition data lake to get us 50 to 100x performance gains as well as storage optimization. It's crucial for us to support time travel and version data for data and model provenance. Operations on Delta, such as merges, updates, and deletes, help us build out our own anonymization frameworks. We can also have logical separation on the Delta layer with discovery and integration zone, where we can apply schema enforcement based on the source of the data, as well as apply retention policies. This translates to a highly industrialized process where we aggregate data across different zones and load data from a variety of sources using the workspaces, clusters, and job APIs and orchestration tools like Airflow. We have predefined patterns for these ingestion processes that help us define retention policies as well as partition according to the use case. Features, Delta helps us with features like item potency, with merge operations, and with fast changing change data capture use cases. Time travel provides snapshot isolation for fast changing tables. We also govern, we make sure we're now governing an enterprise data lake with the right permissioning and access control. Overall, the strategic view has been here to commoditize data ingestion to such an extent so that the teams can focus on business problems up the, up the value chain rather than focusing on moving data from point A to point B. On the consumption side, which was the third challenge we had, we wanted to make sure your experience is as good as you walk into one of our premier experiences. We serve over 50 plus workspaces on the enterprise with different business units with logical separations between them. This gives us flexibility to monitor, secure, and segregate these environments based on the use case. We also run our own version of our metadata sync process across these 50 plus environments to sync across these workspaces at scale. So all users are looking at one governed version or published data with a single source of truth. The successful data enablement and rookie journey has now led us to focus on our AI ML strategy. We have enabled convergence of data and enabled Brookit for the creation of models. In the past, our goals were to deploy environments in a matter of minutes, to deploy data pipelines in a matter of minutes, which we have largely achieved. Now our focus is now to democratize machine learning and how do we enable our data science to enable machine learning models in a matter of minutes. We have our framework AI Reserve that we are in the process of deploying with a goal to achieve exactly that. Powered by MLflow and Azure services, AI Reserve will be guiding larger constructs in our enterprise, including a model marketplace. This will be used in many use cases across the board, such as store operations, quality of service analysis, personalization experience, and much more. The ML stack uh, comes together with analytics out of the box with our Brookit environments. Users have a plethora of environments that they develop their code in. We can use version control to deploy builds based on integration with Azure services like Azure DevOps, based on use cases like on schedule or drift scenarios. Users can use Azure ML or MLflow for their model lifecycle management. And all this backed on a persistent data store on the Delta Lake. We also make sure our AI reserve integration allows our data scientists to containerize their solutions and use Azure Kubernetes services to essentially serve our REST APIs, which leads to the larger construct of the AI reserve model marketplace. Today's real-time data along with today third-party data is driving our decisions across the board, including store reopening strategies. 
All this is being supported by a unified data and AI solution. We now have petabytes of data located on Delta Lake at massive scale, hundreds of data products built on Spark, an average deployment time of pipelines and environments in minutes, there are over 1,000 plus pipelines across engineering and user workspaces, and more importantly, these are all highly reliable and fault tolerant. From a data team collaboration and productivity standpoint, this has been huge. The tooling is collaborative. We also now foster a culture of experimentation and self-service and maintain shared responsibility across our environments. And the focus is now on outcomes and not technology or infrastructure. I would encourage everyone to check out additional talks by Starbucks at the summit, including how we operationalize our big data pipelines as well as our machine learning. Please be sure to visit stores.starbucks.com for latest news and initiatives. I hope you have a great Spark and AI Summit 2020. Thank you very much.